What is going on guys, it's your boy Santiago back with another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you my ice I got one, two, three chains you're probably interested in another three I'm going to show you um, yeah let's get right into the video uh, my little thing, the first thing I'm going to show you right now is this little amulet it's a uh, it's Heart of Meridia I think my friend told me it was uh, I got it from my girlfriend it's really nice, it's got, if you look into it uh, you can see a whole bunch of cool stuff. I'm gonna try to show you right now. As you guys can see, if you look directly into it, like here's the thing. If you look directly into it, it says I love you in a whole bunch of different ways. It's really cute. Um, definitely kind of girly, but I definitely love it. And I got it for my girl. So I'm gonna put this back on because I promised her I wouldn't take it off. And let's get right into the more stuff. Alright, we're back. We're back. Um, yeah, we're back. Uh, let's see. I want to show you the little stuff first, and then we're going to go up to the big stuff, so like lowest price to highest price. First thing we got here is this um, stainless steel 15mm uh, Cuban. It's This was one of the first pieces I picked up. This was like um, oh, this was like maybe half a year ago when I picked this one up. It's uh, stainless steel. It looks nice. It's uh, not icy at all. There's no ice on it because I don't really wear fake ice. I only wear like real stuff, you know, um, but yeah, this was the first thing I picked up, picked it up for like $35, selling it for like 20 right now, um, yeah, it's really nice, I'll show you how it looks on person, the clasp is just a regular old clasp right here, and yeah, we put this on, if I put it on right, this is what it looks like on person, it looks pretty nice, it's nice and hefty, I can pick myself up with this bitch, but it looks really nice, I'm, I enjoy it. I look at it a lot. I don't really wear it at all, though. But I like it, kind of. Not really anymore, but I used to like it a lot. So that's it for that one. I'm going to keep all my necklaces on the more I put on. So it's going to get crazy quick. Next thing I got here is a little pendant from Feed My Starving Children. You can watch me loop it through real quick so I can show you what it looks like on a chain. Um, I got this little pendant right here. It's a Feed My Starving Children pendant. Looks super nice. Um... It was actually an ornament. I paid eighty dollars for the ornament so I could feed a kid for a year, and this is what I got. I got this little ornament right here. It looks really nice. It's um all red. It's a red heart. And if you guys can see, if I get a little bit closer, it says Femar Star. Or it doesn't say Femar Serving Children. It has a little logo of uh the Femar Serving Children logo on it. And if I flip this little piece over on the other side, it says Femar Serving Children. So. It's just a nice thing to have. It's a nice thing to like show the people. Be like, yeah, I got this from Feed My Starving Children. And they're like, nice. You know, I like going there because I like helping kids. And I like just doing that community service type of work and stuff like that. I know not everyone's into it, but I definitely am. So that's it for this. I have it on a stainless steel chain right here. Um, we're getting a little bit, not expensive, but this, is, this one has a lot of sentimental value to me. Um, this is a cross chain with beads on it i got it from uh i got it from like a jewelry store that sells like jewelry from around the world and um yeah it has a little cross on it it's got the beads and it was actually made in um palmyra colombia which was the exact town that i was born in so it's a really nice sentimental chain to me uh i wear it sometimes with like khakis and stuff so that's how i kind of wear it with like a white tee khakis that's how i wear this chain um, yeah, that's a really nice one. We're getting into a little bit more expensive necklaces here. We got the, uh, 14 karat gold made in Italy, uh, rope chain. This is three or four millimeters thick. I don't remember. I have the receipt when I bought it, but it isn't plated. It isn't silver. It's solid gold. And, uh, as you guys can see on here, it doesn't have the 925 plating or sign on it. It has the 14 karat gold sign on it. Uh, sparkly in the light, in the sunlight, it's got the sparkles. Um, really like this necklace. I put my pendant on it, my main pendant. I'll show you that last. And, yeah, it just looks really nice on me. Uh, not really, but, yeah, that's that. That's it for that one. It's, there's nothing really to talk about it. Um, getting into my fourth most expensive item. We have right here, the Rolex Datejust. This is in, uh, stainless steel and white gold. 18 karat white gold in the middle you can see it's white gold here um this is the newer version of it and the clasp has a little rolex logo on it it's got all the stuff it's got everything it's legit i've gotten this checked out like seven different times all my jewelry 
Wait, let me go on a little rant. If you're under 18 and you don't have a job and you get expensive jewelry, people are like, bro, that shit fake. That fake, bro. Yo, why are you wearing fake shit, G? Just buy the real shit. Oh, wait, you don't got a job. Like, okay. I make a living, not a living, but I make my money selling shoes, right? So, like, oh, shit. <laughs> I made my money selling shoes. I sell a lot of shoes. Uh, a lot of dead sock shoes, like the new ones that come out. I'm not a sniper either, like one of the guys with the bots. I buy my pair by pair. I sell them pair by pair. Uh, sell them in the area because I live in a suburb of Chicago. So I got a lot of people in Chicago who buy shoes off me. And yeah, this is it for the Rolex Datejust. It's got a black face on it. Uh, you guys can see the date on it. 17. It's the 17th right now. And yeah, it was. It's just. It's really nice. It's glow in the dark too. All the. It's got the diamonds on the. Um, face and the little dots next to the diamonds each individual diamond it actually goes in the dark so it's a really nice really nice watch uh it's my only watch right now um it's my only personal watch yeah paid 4500 off on it off the uh reselling the number one watch selling website uh, i don't remember what it was called but yeah that's how much i paid for that one next thing we got here is a uh is a smaller cuban it's iced with SI2 diamonds, so the cheapest, we're one of the cheapest quality of diamond. Um, this is the 10 millimeter solid 14 karat or 10 karat gold. I think it's 14 karat. Here, wait, let me check. No, it's only 10 karat. So it's 10 karat gold, cheapest quality diamonds, one of the cheapest starter iced chains you could buy. Um, the entire clasp is studded with diamonds. Um, yeah, this is the necklace I usually wear with when I'm not wearing my silver outfit because I got the silver watch, so this is gold, so it doesn't really go too well. So I usually wear the, uh, not the silver watch, but the, you know, like the silver kind of coloring, white gold and white gold, silver. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, the clasp, it, it just goes in the little clasp right here, pull it back, snap this in place right here, and then snap this on top of it, and boom, the necklace is all ready to go I'm gonna put this on myself real quick just to show you how it looks on my person uh, I've been wearing the watch the whole video so um, yeah that's how it looks in person there's other necklaces in the way but this is how it looks I'm trying to show you the non ice side real quick this is the non ice side it's just gold and on the other side we got the diamonds so I picked this up for about five thousand five hundred dollars somewhere in that area um, yeah it took me like it's taken me like I've been selling and buying shoes and keeping the money for about five years now. And a lot of Jordans have been released in five years. A lot of Jordans have been sold in five years. I could probably pull up a book of like all the shoes I've sold in the last five years. And the list is extensive. Like I've had a little bit of everything. So obviously I've been making a little bit of money enough to spend it on some ice jewelry. Uh, speaking of ice, this is my favorite piece of all of them. This is the K Supreme has one, you know. Quavo has a few. He's got a bracelet. You know, Lil Pump has one, I'm pretty sure. Um, like, the rappers that I... I don't really listen to them, but... Yeah, this is the Gucci Link 12mm uh, uh, iced, all iced out with S1 quality diamonds. It's the uh, next chain on my list. It's a really nice necklace. It's made with 14 karat white gold. And it just the simple clasp. It's just a simple clasp. There's nothing about it. It looks really nice. It just fits in as one link, so you can't really see the clasp as easily. And yeah, that's what that's about it for this one. This necklace was 18 inches long. Um, the necklace I got the pendant on is 26. The rope is 28, and this one's 20 right here. Uh, I paid I think about 9,999. I think it was all that. Uh, I paid out for it on. Um, Oh my okay guys I'm back. I bought the Gucci Link necklace. There it is. I bought the Gucci Link necklace off um So Icy Jewelry. It's a real jewelry store or a real jewelry website. Yeah, I paid 10k for it. I paid a good deal because they have an 8mm one that's 24 inches long for 10,000. So I just picked up the 12mm one so I could see it a little bit more. Don't have a pendant for it uh yet, but I was thinking of getting a cross for it maybe. A cross, like a I style cross. But yeah, that's about it for this one. If I get it super, super close, you can see the diamonds glistening in this bitch. 
It's a very nice one, SI1 quality diamond. So we're not rocking VVS's yet, but we'll get to that point. Uh, I'll put it on myself real quick. Oh, shit. As you can see, it kind of like folds. It's kind of heavy, so it folds down instead of folding like around my neck perfectly. I can't get the clasp in. Okay. That took way too long. Um, as you guys can see, it kind of, it's got a little bit of weight to it, so it kind of like goes down a little bit. But if I pull it up a little bit, it fits perfectly around my neck. It's a really nice necklace, and it's my favorite one of everything I have. Um, I just found this too. I found a grill. I don't even know where it was, but I just found it. I could put that in right now. Ah, but nah. <laughs> grills are, I can't wear grills. Um, last piece I got, my most expensive piece, and my second favorite piece right here, I got around the holiday season of 2018, probably a month before Christmas, and, like, when they're playing Christmas music is what I consider the holiday season, so, like, October to, you know what I mean. Um, this right here is a sterling silver 925 diamond cut necklace, uh, paid about 80 bucks for it, nothing special about it. Until you see the pendant that's on it right here. Maybe you already saw it, but you pull this up. BAM! I think you guys can uh, see this. Like, you guys remember where this has been from a different place. This is actually Gucci Mane's heart bow and arrow pendant. I have a heart tattoo on my neck. So I wanted to get this pendant because it just reminds me of it. And I want to get the whole heart bow and arrow thing tattooed on my neck at one point. Um... Other than that, this is white gold and yellow gold for the bow, and then white gold for the arrow. And it's covered in SI1 quality diamonds. So again, we're not rocking VVS's yet, but we're getting there. Uh, you got the little heart, the bow and arrow, and this actually has like meaning to me. It's like shoot your shot, like if you have enough commitment and you have enough patience and like you have like the ability to go for something, don't be nervous. Don't like overthink it, nothing like that. Just try it, like give it your best shot. If you know it's a good thing for you in the end and you know you're gonna profit off it, not profit, but like you know you're gonna like get something out of it that's positive, definitely go for it. Um, that's what this pendant means to me. I paid $13,000 for it. I had it custom made by Julio. It says Julio and name on the back, Julio14. So yeah. It was made by um, a guy that I know, like a jewelry shop nearby. His name, like his name is Julio. He owns a jewelry shop, and I had him custom made it for me because I really liked the pendant and I really wanted it, and I also didn't know what else to get. So uh, we were talking for a little bit, and then we ended up settling on this. So this is it. It's the heart bow and arrow pendant. Um, one stone fell out, like right here. If you guys can see it. Um, I'm gonna go get that stone placed back in maybe next week, but other than that Yeah, this is a $13,000 pen right here. It shines like nothing else. It's very nice um, I wear it all the time uh, Like to school and stuff cuz like, you know, you got to flex on your school people and Yeah, that's about it for this chain right here this necklace I'm gonna put it on and I'm gonna wrap up the video here outfit of the day. I got a Tommy Hilfiger tee and I got some red Nike SB shorts. I don't know if you guys can see them, but look. There you go. Got the SB shorts. I also have this. Nah, that's not part of my outfit, though. Uh, I also have this camera right here that I'm going to try to figure out how to make video work on it so I can record in 4K quality because, you know, we want that 4K. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this long, boring video. If you did, please drop a like down below. Make me feel not wasting my money on expensive shit and if you guys want to see like a belt review or a, like an outfit review like my favorite outfits like top 10 outfits that i like uh put it down in the comments below i don't know what else to show you guys right now so just leave me posted hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i will see you bitches later wait i gotta throw something at the camera like this nigga joshua